Hi, it's Allie from Inspire Lives, and today we're in my kitchen and we are making my pressure cooker salsa chicken thighs with spiralized bell peppers and onions. There's only five ingredients to this easy weeknight meal. So I'm gonna show you how to spiralize the bell pepper and the onion. We'll start with the bell pepper first. What you're gonna wanna do is just slice this top off, just like this. And once you slice the top off, you can just pull out the inside. So once your seeds are out, you're ready to go. So we're all set on blade A. We're gonna grab our bell pepper, center it on the Inspiralizer, push that handle in, and just spiralize. I love spiralizing bell peppers. It's so quick, so easy. Makes fajita night really easy. You get even slices of bell pepper. We're using four bell peppers that we've spiralized, so now we're all done with that. I like a mix of green and red for color and flavor. And now we're ready to do the onion. So it's the same blade, blade A. And just like the bell pepper, you're gonna get really perfectly even slices, which is another reason why I love the spiralizer because I couldn't slice an onion this well, ever. So now that everything's spiralized, we're ready to just add this all into our pressure cooker. You're gonna wanna start by adding in your chicken thighs first. So you're gonna add those to the bottom. So I'm gonna add one by one in a circle on the bottom. And the next step is to add in our spiralized veggies. Now it seems like a lot, it's a huge heaping bowl of veggies, but it's gonna cook really quickly, wilt down, and these are gonna be really moist as well. The next ingredient you wanna grab is your high quality salsa. I like using medium salsa because my seven month old actually loves this meal, and I don't wanna give him something too spicy he can't handle. And then you're gonna take your tongs and you're gonna stir this up. So what you wanna do is you wanna coat all the vegetables in the salsa but you wanna make sure that the chicken stays on the bottom. But you also kind of wanna make sure that the salsa touches the chicken a little bit. That is it, that's all you have to do. Now the pressure cooker will do the job for you. So let me put my top on here, and we can just hit pressure cook here. And I'm gonna cook these for nine minutes, that's all it needs, so I'm just gonna adjust right here on the timer. So when the chicken is cooking in the pressure cooker, now is the time that you can prepare anything else you might wanna make with the chicken. So make your quinoa, make your brown rice, prep anything else you wanna do to serve with the chicken when it's done. All right, the timer went off, our chicken is done. What I like to do is grab a pair of pasta tongs to be extra safe with the steam release. So I'm just gonna actually grab it right here and I'm gonna switch it to venting. So now that our steam is all released, it is safe to open our pressure cooker. I'm just gonna grab a bowl like this and I'm going to take all of the spiralized veggies and chicken out. And you can see it's fully cooked and tender. It almost breaks apart when you're grabbing it with the tongs. So once I have all my chicken and my bell peppers and onions in the bowl, my final thing to do is just add that cilantro, which really helps with the flavor with the salsa and all the peppers and onions and chicken. So there you have it. My pressure cooker salsa chicken thighs with spiralized bell peppers and onions. I'm so happy I discovered pressure cooking. I can't wait to make more recipes with it. And of course, using the spiralizer makes it extra special, extra easy, and even quicker. I hope you love watching this video, and for more healthy recipes like this one, head on over to inspiralize.com.